pretty nice sa op, um kung magkuan mo good taron mag inventory management actually yun nalimot tayo ko asa tada pitning stop no kay we've been in hiatus for a week and a half I'm so sorry for that no pero we will continue lang with human resource management supposedly in operations management resource management mantani na siya no unya since we were more on the service industry that is why more ta on human resource so again ha for both subjects this morning I'll be talking first about gender bias in the workplace for multicultural. And then after that, um, I'm also going to discuss in operations management, human resource. So, sa, uban, sa operation, operations management mong good class, um, ang ginatawag niya is resource management ra. Kay, more man siya on, mark press inventory management ba nga, more siya on, on how to handle resources efficiently so that dili siya makalas. Pero sa tuwa mong good sa hospitality and tourism industry, we're more on human resource because we're a very service-oriented industry. We're more on manpower. That is why madungagan siya human resource management. So, more, more na siya ang morag nakalian. If you're going to talk about resource management, it's more on um, your equipment or, for example, like the machines that you use, no? Um... Para dili ka kalat at the same time, your resources are um, efficiently or efficiently utilized. So, dili siya ingon nga magkalas-kalas ka or um, dili po siya costly in a way. For sa to as human resources, how do we like do quality control when it comes to people and how we also train them so that they can also work efficiently in the workplace. So, muna siya to i-discuss. Or just an overview with what we are going to learn this week. Um, for both subjects. Why? Because I think this week will be our last week class. Kahit tungod, exams week na karong 22 and 23. But you will not have that schedule. Hindi lang kung follow ang class no. Siguro next week lang kung sa exam ninyo. It is because I was gone for a week and a half no due to my prior commitment last week, diba? Um, katong research conference. That is why para makabawi ko rin sa discussions, gamito na ako karon nga week. No, so dili sa juta mag exams run. Okay, so um siguro on Wednesday I'm going to formally close the semester. I'm really glad that you were able to overcome um the pandemic and online class. No, despite nga there are so many challenges along the way, you know, like financially and even our mental health was also affected. So um just to formally close the semester, no, because this is actually a very new experience to all of us, and to also thank you for 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 your determination to to learn, no, so sigur kana lang. Kay, um, supposedly I really thought that our finals exam will be on twenty seven and twenty eight, but um, we weren't able to have that day, no, kay gipas ayos ayos day ang finals exam. So next week na lang, ha? So more na siya class. Okay, let me just open my PowerPoint and then I will also share my screen. I'll start with gender issues first. So we will start with multicultural diversity, starting with gender bias. Then afterwards, um, on 9.30 to ano, onwards, we will talk about um, human resource management for operations management. I do hope you are still listening. By the way, let me just check the recording if it's on. Okay, Raman siya. Okay. Actually, I didn't have the time already, no? Kay, um, on Saturday, I had my my ADL webinar. So, nanguha ra ko sa A Birth with University o PowerPoint on gender bias. These are only, I think, 21 slides. So, we are going to talk about gender equality. So, this does not only pertains to, like, equal women's rights in the workplace, that they have to be seen equally among men. But, this also pertains to not just so women, no, in all genders and even sexual orientations. Because, um, even those who belong in the LGBTQ community can also be discriminated in the workplace, and I think no, um, as a mod, as workers no nga, nga na nasa modern world, I think we should 
also consider that we need to be really quite open no nga, nga their their gender or their sexual preferences um cannot be a basis for prejudice no kay as long as they are a very good worker and they can efficiently like or for example uh, contribute to to the workplace then why not no it's their personal choice dili naman siguro ta angay manghilabot ana so the overview on gender equality because this has been an issue not just before no kay siguro na apil lang ganid diri ang history of women's rights were in women were not given a right to to do anything because they were always stereotyped nga makabili na sa balay but this has been also an issue long before Padrud. no so hangtod karon siguro um Ara-ara nang diri sa Philippines so kay dili man jud ang anak ka grabe jud ang gender bias pero naron siya pre subtle lang siya no dili lang sa tanan jud nga workplace siguro na ara mga situations nga na anak siya nga very very patriarchal kaayo ang institution or ang workplace wherein they value men more than women kay para mong gunila good class ang babae mong good mam abdos di ba nya daghang leave maternal leave so imbis ilaha pa nang ma, ma unsa ni ilaha pa ning magamit ang kani nga nga trabahante dili nila ma, magamit up to its full potential kay tungod mo leave man siya kay na mabdus man siya no nya at the same time anang dili na siya ko ay no lahi na jud kay na siya yung mga obligations as as a mother no sumupo na usay sa ilang mga mga nahuna no sa workplace nga very patriarchal kay uban nga no, nga less kaayo ang women or for them they feel women are very limited to do um other work that is why must more sila dependent on men no so daghan daghan na kay cases no even other countries gani like for example i think in japan nga nga na shock siya kay pag niya there sa philippines class na shock siya kay women do as much as men here kay kita siya sa kalsada nay babay mamaligya nay babay nga magkuan ya sila ha nga lugar is women don't do that no very limited ra kaayo ang ang lihok sa mga babae dito no and mostly men are doing all the work so so yung ana nga cases no so the overview of here of, of this discussion is like the stereotypes no and, and gender biases history of women's rights no um women have gone a long way that is why you see feminists today no because women have gone a long way in fighting for their rights first it started with the right to vote or choose their leaders no and then even ani gani ana nga time class nga even na ay ning fight for their for their right to vote na pamangay cases nga other people would be against that no nga put sila propaganda of their own nga dili sila musugot nga ang babay ang mo mo overcome sa workplace no or sa or or allowed to vote no so taas daghan kay nagian ang mga babay sa una just just for us women now to experience the freedom no or equal treatment as men and even statistics no nga we're in even sa kuan class bukita nimo nga ang product sa babayi is much more expensive than product sa lalaki and if you compare nimo pareha sa man sila like for example razor or deodorant no, or other uh healthcare products no and napoy cases pud nga like sa dili lang sa to no like western countries we're in men are paid more than women but they have the same jobs no so mapuna siya and then also when finding solutions no sometimes um men are heard than women no? very feminist kay tong topic rung morning no kay we are talking about gender biases in the workplace mangun so what do we mean by stereotypes no stereotypes are oversimplified ideas of a particular type of person or idea or place that many people be- believe are true and they are often very negative so when we talk about stereotyping like aren't you open like you're supposed to to wash dishes or or to to do laundry kay mer stereotype na ka nga, if babae gani ka pabili na ka sa balay or for example um if aso ibutang Oh, kana mo sir, type put sila katong para sa tong white privilege do. If 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 you're a black American, you're always stereotype as a thug or or a delinquent or someone nga with a very questionable background. No, those are stereotypes go in. Tanan na lang tao ing ana no just because mergimo nang ikuan ba, merga nang imuhan nang i- stereotype nga you're like this because 
people um like expects you to be like this no like for example another example ha like blondes every time that you see a blonde like in america for us it's no big deal no? when you see blondes we always think oh she's beautiful she's a bombshell but for americans when they see a blonde nya, nya, very voluptuous ka ayo og, og, og physique they would then say nga, ah it's a dumb blonde kay blondes are, are always portrayed as dumb but beautiful no that's stereotyping no or oh you're a brunette so you're always stereotyped as the smart one no like for example like marilyn monroe and and jackie o no or wife of ko ano uh, john f kennedy no or jackie kennedy kay mong na siya no na na like rivalry between brunettes and blondes so marilyn monroe is portrayed as blonde because she's beautiful but she's an airhead but you see jacqueline kennedy wherein she's beautiful she's brunette and she's smart no because um she's the first lady no pero which is wrong no if you think about it marilyn monroe was not originally a blonde no she's brunette and she's really smart no regardless of what her hair color is she's smart but she just portrayed um an airhead very very um in in a very good way no or kanang magbansay siya mo portray as blonde pero or dumb blonde pero dili man siya dumb in real life no or even ko an kanang mga mga gingers no wala ko no sila soul ang mga gingers kanang those who have strawberry red hair no mga irish man siya nila kag freckles no that stereotyping or kung irish ka pala hubog ko no ka no dili man na no so that stereotype that's an example of of stereotyping we're in mag imo na lang siyang ikuan nga ing ana siya kay tungod mo man na expectation sa mga tawo sa ayaha okay next gender stereotypes so like for example pink is for girl blue is for boys and if you see a guy who wears pink you would often say ah bayot siya or agi we're in men can wear pink and still be masculine no or men can cry and still be masculine kay ang stereotyping man good is men have to be tough no they have to be um masculine they have to shoulder everything all their responsibilities pero dili man na siya tani mao no so mo mga stereotyping or a girl has to be feminine it's unusual for a girl to be rowdy or to be unruly o mga ingana nga example they have to be prim and proper no so for example no be like a girl or be like a man that's an example of a stereotype no like when you see a man cry be a man no dili mo binayot or when you see a a or when you see a girl nga dili siya kuan kana rowdy ka siya or hag rag ha say kana ragid ka siya mo ka sit like a, a girl sit like a lady be more lady like no oh oh you mean a woman can open it no so kani nga example aning del monte nga we're in na shock sila nga you mean a woman can open it because it's an easy open cap so meaning imong approach or stereotype ang babay as weak because we cannot open bottle caps no so no no so muna siya no that's an example of stereotyping no men are strong women are weak men are uh, women are feminine men are masculine no and i'm really glad that i grew up in a in a generation or siguro i'm part of a generation no kay kaloyan sa gino na insert pataon ko sa generation z we're in our generation is much more open like it's okay for men to cry it's okay for women to be masculine at times no no or it's okay for women to be strong like physically no or it's okay for a woman to be the breadwinner of the family kay supposedly ang lucky man tani na ang maoy mo mo provide sa family but karon ang babay pwede na pud no so yan na no? so tinga lang kita nga ma-shock sila nga oh she's the first ever woman to be like this ko nga oh, don't be shocked no it it should be the standard because anyone can do anything no or anyone can be anyone no so yan na okay so what is the history of of gender bias class no so women were seen as less than men no um they were always considered as like a trophy to be won or for example women were considered as wala siyag kanang helper ni lalaki well the man does all the work no so 
in the history, no? The husband is thy lord, thy life, and thy keeper, thy head, and thy sovereign. Meaning, the husband is overall in authority of everything. What he says must be done. And all you have to do is just like cower underneath the feet of your husband. No? So, muna siya sa sinaunang panahon. And women could not stand up for themselves. They cannot um, speak unless they were asked to. Or they cannot give their opinion because nobody wants it. No mo na siya ang history sa una. And and if you look at this one, no, they were even kept in in this contraptions were in. Um, it's a scold's bridle, no, we're in. For example, like in a like you be kept as punishment if if you speak, no. Or for example, if you voice out your opinion, which is siguro di ko gudo ko survive ang class no kay I'm a very uh, I'm not really outspoken in a way no pero if I feel that I would like to 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 speak something about it or if I am against it usually I would I would speak up no or isulti na ko siya which is sa kauna panahon dili na siya pwede kay um you're only allowed to speak when your husband wants you to no so nga ni and I'm really glad okay other other women are are kaan na dilit na kay sila more on on ang babae kar no dilit na sila more like dependent on on what a man thinks no they have their own ano po ideas and ano so yana po na siya okay next is the suffrag uh, suffragettes no so women were not allowed to vote not until the 1920s so it is because um a lot of women were also standing up against men, no, because um they would also like to to be given the right to vote, no. There were some of them were gone, they were not allowed to work. How much and they put it sila allowed to vote, no, they would fear they feel it was unfair, no, that they were only limited to just do household things and not be given an opinion to pick out who their leader is, no. So Muna siya, no nga na tuko na dayon ang Ogkoan, no, kanang women's suffrage pilgrimage wherein they would request na they would be given um, at least um, an extension of freedom no, na they can also do things parya sa lalaki. So, in the, 19, in the 1860s, they formed the suffragette societies to bring unfairness of this light. So, women had enough of, of the I don't know, of the um sa tao gana ka nang murag unfairness nga gihatag sa ila okay even before gani class kung kakuan man ang Salem witch trials na i recently i've seen a movie wherein a woman was was um wrongly accused of being a witch and she was she was actually ko ano kanang gi, gi torture siya niya iya hang anak uh, her child was taken away from her because um if makakita sila babae nga uh, can live on her own, like for example, if imong bana namatay, pero ikaw, um, you find ways to provide for your family, although if you are a single mother, or for example, if if you use science, like for example, if you want to be a doctor and you're a woman, eh, yun nila nga, witchcraft da yun, or kuan ka, no? If makita ganin mga lalaki nga, and they do not feel in, in favor of you, accusing ka as witch and you'll be put on trial and it's a very unfair trial because for example there's one example we're in ibutang nila ang babae sa chair class no niya ilang itagak sa body of water kung musing ko no ka kuyog ang bato dili daw ko no kakuan ka nang dili ko no ka witch pero of course you will die in the process no maski yung maingon pa ka nga innocent ka wala man siya may pulos kaya namatay naman ka diba niya if if the rock floats and you will also float do you know? then you are not a, uh, you, you are a witch no and then you will need to be burned to the stake no which is unfair japon nga ko and kay they see strong independent women sa una tuod din sila witch dayon no or mo na siya if you if you resort to science in order to cure people Mm, muna da yun na, no? So, women had enough of that. That is why, tukod sa lading, women's suffrage pilgrimage. So, the suffragettes were not welcomed in society, you know, because it's a threat daw ko, no, for others who are, kanang mga na a male privilege, no, nga, madlok sila. Kanang, ato ginatawag na siya class as um, toxic masculinity, wherein, 
they fear that their masculinity will be koan, will be challenged makita sila babae nga strong fight sa yung rights no they feel nga their masculinity will be challenged their authority will be challenged mo nang di sila ginahan anak class no so wala oh yes, you can see it's very horrendous so what I would do with the suffragists so ilahang e but this actually this illustration is an example of the Salem witch trial torture Muna kong giingon niyo sa inyo ha, class nga, i-bound ka sa chair, ihulog ka dito sa dagat, and then, kanipod, i-lock ang imong ulo. Ani, no? And you'll, and, and this is the kind of, like, torture or, or test that, that they would put you through in order to, to, to see, no? If you're really a witch or not. If not, then, mamatay raman siya, pun ka, no? So, kaning illustration, gi-bring back ang, ang Salem witch trials, no? Very offensive. Wearing the breeches, so merag ilang gimak nga ang babay na magsulob na dag pants, which is in the future. No, we are wearing pantsuits naman gani, and we consider it as fashion. So ano ano? Everybody works but mother. She's a suffragette. I want to vote, but my wife won't let me. Merka nang gimak no nga ko an. Um, dili na ka work ni siya nga laki kitungod yahang asawa og yang mama are so fragile. Sumber dili maning ana no. Ang ang ilahang ang ilahang mong ganang advocacy class is not to overpower men. Regular is equal lang ba nga. Men can still vote, men can still work, but at least tagaan pugi nga ng opportunity ang babaye. Dili kay ilisan ang mga lalaki og babaye nya ang mga lalaki na ana sa balay, ang mga babaye nagatrabaho. Dili man ang ana no. So nagnaray mga misconceptions ba. So money ka lukan sa mga lalaki nga sila daw mapulihan ako na sila someday with women. We just no, no we just want to live in an equal world wherein we're given equal opportunities. Okay. So this is an example of an anti suffragette postcard. No peace at last, no because a butang o contraption where in your head cannot move and a padlock in your mouth because you're you're not allowed to speak anymore and it's very alarming class no nga if this was put out nowadays, siguro ma offend tang mga babae because um it means that that um men would hinder us in speaking out no which is alarming no dilit man tani na ang ana no so mo na sa So this is sexism already. No, kana mga objectify ni mo ang babay. May mito ka ba sa sexism class? Dili lang yung objectify ni mo ang babay as a sexual object, but also objectify ni mo siya as nothing. No, not as a person. You look at this woman not as a person, but as an object. No, so sa yun po siya ng mindset. So in 1918, women finally got the vote, but not fully until the 1920s. Still, not everybody agreed with this. So although in the 1920s, women were finally given the right to vote, but other men were appalled. No, though especially those who practice toxic masculinity, because again, they fear that they will be replaced. No, which is not the purpose of the of the suffrage. No, their their purpose man is, kana no, just to coexist with men equally. After the vote in 1920, women could have the opportunity to become lawyers. In 1922, even women could inherit property because before, no, um, ang lalaki raman ang allowed to inherit a property from from their parents, born or from their family. And in 1929, women became persons by law. In 1970, Equal Pay Act makes it illegal to pay women at different rates. Although this has been established in 1970, but now narejo po yung mga instances where in women were not given equal rates, no. In 1980, women allowed to borrow in their own name, not using the name of their husband anymore. And in 1994, it becomes illegal for a husband to rape his wife because before mga good class, if kanang if magminyo ka ani sa kaning mong husband. He has the right to to demand, even if dili ka musugot, no, mo demand siya na because um, lagi mo daw kuno na yung duty as a wife. Pero in 1994, it all changed, no, because again the woman, a woman can say no, no, even if um, masking maminyo na mo, no, kay di masata ng panahon pud, no, kay lipo kay mga babae. 
So some statistics. So are we still equal even nowadays? No? So the workplace, women earn less, 10% for full-time and 34% for part-time work. No? So less 10%. No? So imagine mo, no, the the um, rate sa lalaki, mas dako siya o pay compared sa babae when in the first place, both share equal workload. No? And 70% of minimum wage jobs are done by women. 55% of women take part in the labor market. Um, one area of gender equality is body image. No? Feeling bad about their appearance made 16% of girls avoid going to school and 20% avoid giving an opinion in public. But we're, this is wrong. No? So, I've always seen, like, for example, like, magazines or um, what we see on social media where in women were always objectified as someone that you have to maintain a figure, you have to be pretty, you have to look very feminine, you have to have feminine features, which is, no, no, Um, in reality, w- women can look what, whatever they want to look, no? Okay. If we adhere to, like, like stereotyping, no? Or, or, you objectify na mga babae, sometimes it can also be a source of insecurities kay a big money ang ideal nga nga physics sa lalaki no humulan taw sila money ideal nga physics sa babayi money kung gusto no yani ang iyang statistics slim siya pretty siya uh, she has to be siya sa feminine features no chug buhok in reality women come from all shapes and sizes no mamuitaw na nga nay mga insecurity mga babae kay feel nila nga i-compare nila kaw galingon sa ubang babae kay abig ko ay no abig um dili sila pretty wala sila ni set ang standard is wrong no we should not set standards on anyone regardless if it's a ma- man or or a woman no so 20% of boys are extremely concerned about their weight leading to depression or drug use increasing use of steroids in young men leading to many side effects so sa side put sa lalaki na put body image nga nga ginaset no nga dapat ang lalaki masculine dako og lawas no ya dili man no all men ka, come from different shapes and sizes no and siguro one thing that i am glad nowadays no because people are so open na not everyone also no naraman japon na ang discrimination and sexism but at least no some of us are are embracing ano, self love lang no nga regardless of what you look like as long as you feel good about your body and you feel confident no it's okay so education 20% of girls put off science because it's for boys which is wrong no anyone can excel in any subjects no mayon din sila nga Mayingon din sila nga, ah, math and science are for boys only, so I'm not going to study that. No, So, so no, no, that's not really the case. So, 90% of nurses are female, but men earn 5% more. So, parilab ang nurse nga job are for female ra. No? Okay, it's a feminine work to take care of the sick or wounded. No, Even ganing flight stewardess class, did you know nga, nga, Bagura na ang mga flight stewardess nga laki ron. Kay, kung mga good class sa una, ang kana ko nung job nga flight steward, para ko nung sa babae, no? Mag- so nga, alam, mag-tourism ka, di ba pang babae, ramay na ka nang mag-flight stewardess. So, dili, uy, napoy na mapoy lalaki, good. No? So, ang uban mo, mo, mo na ang uban, dili ginahan na, dili mo kuan, kay, ah, pang bayot ramay na, or pang babae, no? Which is, no, no, that's stereotyping already. We need to avoid that. So, sexual violence. So, one in three girls experience sexual violence from a boyfriend. And one in three girls experience sexual bullying in school on a daily basis. So, why is this happening? It is because, again, no, we always objectify women as an object or a prize to be won. Like, for example, Libina sa mga lalaki, ang ilana is kung ka ng murag. Sorry for the language, ha. I'm going to Starting here, I'm going to use mature content language. No? So, sa mga lalaki kay kalabanan sa ilaha is mara price ang mabay. No? Padaghan na yun akong kinsa ilahang mak- makuha, no? makuha. No? Or, for example, they think of women as like sexual objects. No nga. Mabito yung mag-i-blame din nila sa victim. Ah, you were wearing skimpy clothes, mga good. Or, you look like you were asking for it. Or, you, or, 
you, you look too beautiful mo unang maintay sila for, which is no no I, I look like this no um I'm comfortable in my own clothing for example sa labad jud na ako nga guwapa ko mo unang mo unang ko ano nila maging anak gani loy ba kay nang maging anak class i pers anang tung guwapa ka ayo siya niya na lang gi gi scar iyang naong para dili siya ko anon sa mga lalaki which is dili man na iya hang sala she was born beautiful it's not a curse no and Siguro ka nang murag tungod kay i-picture out ka nang murag kanang ganiya tong culture nga murag ang babae is just an object to be won mo na siguro nga daghang pug mga lalaki dili man tanan pud nga lalaki no napoy mga lalaki nga ilan lang paglantaw sa mga babae maron lang jug objects nga i-collect ra nila no nga pwede ra nila isulayan no or ila harang ko anon no so murag ka nang more na on the physical but not just on what's on the inside Munang daghan po kay mga failed relationships. Uso kayo rin ang kuay, no? Um, a lot of us is having troubles with relationships these days because um, siguro, no? Nagka-intense na mong gunang kanang, what we see on on social media nga daghan kay mga pretty girls and kon. Pero no, no? Um, siguro, I think it's high time that we also teach boys that women are not objects to be won. They're not to be objectified or or sexualized or yung ana because They just look like that, no? Wala karang yung anak, no? Also, naman po yung mga lalaki nga iharas po yung class, no? Pero mas daghan jud ang mga babae nga iharas, no? Just because ang mindset sa uban, especially mga lalaki, muna jud na, no? This is very wrong jud kaayo siya in the first place. So, gender bias is all around us, no? It is even introduced bata pa, di ba? Kadumdum ko akong manghod, akong giingnan nga. Uy, mag-watch taan yung Kinder Surprise or mulanto taan yung kwansya. Ay, dili ko, pambabay man na. Kung nga, pwede mo guna sa tanan. Nga, ano, kaingon mo ka nga pambabay ra. O, you look at your action figures, di ba? Kuan man na siya. Dolls man po na siya. Di mo po na mo maingon nga. Kanan siya, mayroon mag-imong i-submerge ni siya nga toy para mo change og color siya. Ay, dili kay pink yung packaging ko. Kung pink na agad ko. Ay, namar ganig gender bias din yung mga, ah, just because we're going to dip it into different colors, art is just for girls. Nya. Kung lalaki man ko, so action ako, ah, dili ko ng mga art-art, no? So, mga ingana. So, makita niyo mo, no, even in the packaging, ilan na ding ikon nga, basta pink, gani, feminine, basta blue, lalaki. Or, for example, kani nga book, no? Gintroduce siya daan, bata pa, no? Nga, how to be gorgeous. And as you can see, it's pink, no? And it's own and and uncover kay babayi and how to be clever, smart ways to get smarter, and as you can see the model is lalaki, no nya ang color is very masculine kay color no kay red, no merasa ng sports car ng red o color nya, kaya ngon din kanga, kaning book ng how to be clever is it only intended for boys ng ang girls pwede mampud sila maklever pud di ba so mga ing ana no, so Gender bias na kukahayo siya class kay ang how to be clever ang iyahang pag-package is more siya nga para sa lalaki niya. Ang how to be gorgeous is for women ra, no? So, kuan siya, no? Kanang marag bias, no? So, siguro, ang um, Probably gender bias, like how to be clever so nai bayo og lucky dira, no? It's very inclusive. And and how to be neat or tidy, no? So, dili lang ang babae mong tuloon how to to clean themselves or do proper hygiene. Even men, no? Or boys have to be taught that. So, pero how to be clean. And then, ay, laki o bae, no? To be neat and tidy. So, may ana. Oh, then and now. So, these are different um, advertising or let's say promotional materials. These are different promotional materials class sa before o ko ano na after na sa sa gender bias. I don't know lang if kano yung Japan, okay? So for example, oh, women don't leave the kitchen. We all know a woman's place is in the home. Na so gender stereotyping na cooking a man, a cooking a man's delicious meal. But if you still enjoying the bachelor's life and don't have a little miss waiting on you, then come down to Hearty's for something sloppy and hastily prepared. 
Oh, di ba? So, lain kayo, no? It's very... It's very gender biased, no? Kay, marag, ikaw na ni mo nga. Women are... A young place is at home, in the kitchen. A young role is to cook a man's delicious food. Pero if wala siya miss nga maghulat sa, sa balay, kay tungod bachelor siya, then pwede siya kaagto sa hardies para makakaon siya of food. No? So, very kuan kayo. Well, this one... Oh, enjoy your time out of the bedroom. So it doesn't have a hint of gender bias in it because um it it means that you can enjoy your time out of the bedroom, no, regardless if you are a man or a woman, no? Um when you use Madison products, meaning kaning cooking equipment is not just for men or not just for women but it's also for men no oh, another example of gender bias in modern advertising which is quite offensive no murag ka nang kikuan na dayon murgi hapak na dayon sa imo ha oh so for example kaning sa tikita no machine wash warm inside out with light colors use only non chlorine bleach tumble dry medium medium not iron do not iron print or if you are confused, give it to your woman. It's her job. Excuse me. It's not our job all the time no, to wash clothes. No, so, stereotype na ni mo daan siya nga. Mentor should sa babay ang household chores. Okay. For example, kanipun. A metro bus travels about 8,260 miles between breakdowns. Didn't know that, did you? Can we just talk about truths? So, may may kuha ni mo ba nga, women aren't allowed to to be smart. They're only allowed to talk about shoes or girly things, not facts, no? Oh. For example, kanipod, no? Um, this is a snippet of a Google search bar no? or search engine wherein, di ba usually kung mubutang ka dirag um, few words na day isuggest si Google. So, see how very kuan kayo. Very gender bias kayo ang nasa search engine. Oh, women should stay at home. Should not work. Should not be seen and not heard. Uh, should be seen and not heard. No, offensive po siya kayo. Unsa man yung should be seen and not heard. Meaning, you're only good to look at because you're eye candy. Pero, dili may ginahan maminaw sa mong opinion. So, lain kayo, no? Gender bias. So, these facts and images have all been drawn and developed in westernized countries where it's in the very patriarchal class. Kung ito nakita ni mo nga mga example sa mga advertisements. So, um, as an activity that you will pass on Wednesday, you will have to look for examples of equality or inequality in other areas of the world. So, siguro yung i-google lang is, you're going to look for an advertisement wherein inequality was practiced and quality was practiced. No? So, just an example is this one. No? So, kamo na pili if it's going to be modern or not modern as long as it's an advertisement that portrays inequality or gender bias and another advertisement that promotes equal gender roles. No? So, regardless if you're a man or a woman, you can cook. No? So, for example, so, look for strategies that are working. Siguro, dilit lang ako ikuan ng ito strategies. So, so, for your activity, look for promotional materials that can, um, that portrays gender inequality, such as this. And also, another um, promotional material that portrays gender equality. Ha? So, gender inequality and gender equality. So, na usa nga promotional material dira ba nga i-portray ang women as weak or mapabili na sa household. And one promotional material nga portray nga women and men can do both things, no? Or can even switch roles, no? So, may ana. Questions? Do you have any question? Hello? Duha na lang ang nabilin. Questions about the assignment? Anjali? Si Anjeline kay, kung man siya, di man siya ka-open siyang mic, I think. 
Anjali. Hello? We're still around? Wala na, wala na. How about Angeline? You can type your response, Dai. Yes, dab. So, wala na tayo questions, regardless sa itong activity. So, when will you pass that? Siguro, you will just submit the picture of the infographic on Wednesday. Pero if you cannot do that, kay koan, siguro, ma-exan ako until Friday. Basta within this week, ma-submit. No? Para maapas pa na ko sa inyong hang ang output for finals. Ha? So, just a very brief activity. Just look for any promotional material that practice or or displays gender inequality and another promotional material that pra, that portrays gender equality. So, at least compare na to bang, ah. This one, ma'am, portrays inequality while well, this one is more on more equal siya. No? So, mone siya. Okay. So, if you do not have any questions, I'm going to give you a five-minute break. We will come back and then we are going to learn about um, human resource management. Okay. So, Joy Joy, um, I was talking earlier about our activity. Just ask your classmates. It's about looking for a poster about gender inequality. Kato kong gyatang example kanina sa PowerPoint. And another that speaks about gender equality. So, duha ka infographic. So, that we can also compare and contrast no, each infographic. So, you will just submit that in your Google Classroom. I will make um, a stream in the Google Classroom. Siguro karon And then, you'll just submit it within this week. Siguro, ang pinakalasasad nga deadline is on Friday. But if we can pass it on Wednesday, the better. Okay? So, I'm going to give you a five-minute break. Then, we will continue with operations management, starting with human resource management. Okay. Okay.